As you can see behind me, there is an abundance of Porsche gold. We've got a GT2 RS, a 911R, and a GT3 RS, and there is much more. And what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna give you a bit of information on each of these three cars. I'm gonna take you inside, show you what's inside there, as well as kind of round off the experience that I'm having today. Now, there is a slight caveat to this video, which I'm a little bit and apologetic in advance, is that all the stuff I'm gonna be doing out on the amazing tracks that Porsche have, uh, I can't film, uh, which I'm not too sure as to why, but it's fine. It's, uh, it is what it is, and there'll be other opportunities hopefully in the future where I can film these kind of stuff. But for now, let's talk about these three cars and let's show you what's going on. Here is the GT2 RS, a 3.8 litre six cylinder turbo producing 691 bhp and 553 foot pounds of torque. It gets you to zero to 62 miles an hour in just 2.8 seconds. It's an absolute beast of a car and Porsche's most powerful 911 road car to date. It's a lot of power running through the rear wheels, but in dry conditions, it's rear mounted engine and huge tires mean it can get all of that power down. Some would say the GT2 RS is a turbo GT3, but it's more than that. The chassis is very much racing derived and to put it all into perspective, the GT2 RS weighs under 1500 kilos. The GT2 RS completed a Nürburgring lap time of six minutes and 45 seconds, 10 seconds faster than the 918 Spyder and five seconds faster than a Hurricane Performante. The GT3 RS runs a four litre flat six producing 520 bhp and revs freely up to 9,000 RPM, maxing out a top speed of 193 miles per hour. A car that is becoming a fan favorite amongst automotive enthusiasts. In summary, the GT2 RS is a GT3 RS on steroids. The GT2 is equipped with a seven speed twin clutch box, something the GT3 versions already offered back in 2013. The 2 RS also has a larger wing. I almost think that if a Porsche 911 Turbo S and a GT3 RS had a love child, this would be what they produced. Either way, they are both very special cars and I wouldn't say no to either of them. Let's talk about the elephant in the room the 911R sitting between both of them. The 911R is one for the collectors. Prices on this car come at a premium and costs around 350 grand. It also runs a four litre flat six that produces 500 PS and comes in a six speed manual. Some things you might not know about the 911R are the front bumper is directly off the GT3, but has a smaller lip to balance due to the lack of air on the rear wing. Well, the fact that it doesn't really have a rear wing. The front wings are made of carbon fiber, similar to that of the GT3 RS minus the air vents. The front bumper gets a sticker badge instead of the metal crest. The sat nav is removed and makes the 911R as lightweight as possible. It's fair to say that all three of these cars look absolutely superb and I would have any one of them. But for me, if I could only have one, it would be a GT2 RS. I specifically love everything about that car, but even more so in Miami blue as seen on this UK press car. Oh, also guys, if you like videos like this, if you like vlogs, reviews, events, and plenty more content, uh, please make sure to subscribe. It really does help the channel, particularly if you're a viewer of mine who watches my videos but hasn't pressed subscribe, please do so. Hit notification so you don't miss any of my videos. Uh, but I mean, just, just, just wow. Yeah. Thank you. Right, okay, so now I've shown you guys the GT2 RS, the 911R, and the GT3 RS. I thought now would be a good time to show you around the wonders of the Porsche Experience Center here at Silverstone. Obviously we've got 919 Tributes, Le Mans cars, 718s. I'll show you a quick little walk around of the 718. Um, I do like this car. I do like this. Obviously the 981 was the NA version. The 718s have gone all turbocharged, but I do think these look really good. One thing I am very pleased about though is that the new GT4, the 718 GT4 is still NA. This is the 718 Boxster GTS take a look at the inside as well. I mean, the thing of Porsche really well is interiors. I mean, that looks superb. The steering wheel looks amazing. The interior here, the seats, absolutely stunning. And actually the kind of cream leather on the gray car on the GTS does actually work pretty well. However, there is something that I do prefer the look of and it's the Miami Blue 718. It may not be a GTS. Although, it's, no, this is a GTS, sorry. Oh, look at that. 992 in yellow and a Miami Blue on a 718 GTS. That is a very, very good looking car. I don't necessarily think the color is shown in all its glory through the camera. What you need to do is see this in real light. It looks absolutely beautiful. I do like this car a lot. Okay, this is the coupe versus the spider. Um, but I'll do a quick little walk around of this. Um, yeah, I mean, look at that from a rear end. How good does that look, guys? Very, very nice. And if I swing over this way, uh, Subscribers of the channel will be very familiar with this car because the 992 Porsche 911 uh, was actually with us when I did the launch up uh, in April. So this is a 4S. See, it was harder to harder to tell. On the old models, it was so easy. You see the uh, the wide uh, the 
the rear of the the rear arches was a massive giveaway. Uh, but there you go, very very nice interior. I do like this spec. I like that a lot actually. But I do like this. If I quickly nip inside here, just so you guys can see, one of the things that I loved about the 992 when I drove it was obviously you've got this huge kind of 10 inch display infotainment system, the kind of uh, plain feel. Uh, with regards to the gear set, I like that a lot. But one of the things that I like the most was the fact that they've kept the tradition and kept the analog dials in the middle. I think that's really nice. Of course, you've got the little mini, I don't know, is it? A, it's not a Manatino. Uh, that's what Ferrari call it. If we can focus, focus. Yep, so you've got your driving mode selectors here and also you've got the speed response, which basically puts the car in maximum power for 20 seconds, uh, which also gives you additional boost uh, when you are booting it. So that was really good fun. I really enjoyed that. What else do we have? We've got a whole lot of Porsche merch. Uh, up the top there, you can probably see there's loads of people having lunch. I'll take you up there in a second. But there is one car I still want to show you. Sorry, the uh, focus is horrendous. Uh, and it's hidden around the back here. I think this is absolutely stunning. And it is the Porsche Cayman GT4 Club Sport. Hello. And obviously this is completely stripped out, roll cage in here white with the kind of gray accents i think that looks amazing but look at the interior guys full on full on race car spec in here i mean the 981 uh, porsche cayman gt4 is probably one of my favorite cars it's a car that i would love to own and this is almost the uh, the ultimate aggression version with regards to ultimate aggression is that even a thing <laughs> this here is a very much track spec i mean even look look at the pdk box i don't know if you can see that the PDK box sits there nicely, but everything else around it has been completely stripped out. I do think that this is a really cool place. Um, as I said, um, the idea for today wasn't necessarily to kind of give you a, a bit of an overview of this place. I'll put the Porsche there. It was more to uh, hopefully try and give you a bit of track action for the uh, 992 around this beautiful circuit that they've got here because um, it's Porsche's own circuit. They've got a number of routes. They've got acceleration, drift tracks, they've got skid pads, they've got absolutely everything. But unfortunately, we've not been able to film. Um, so I'm kind of giving you this. Um, not to say that I've not had a great time. I have had a great time, uh, but I just really wanted to show that to you. Uh, what else can I show you? I'll show you upstairs quickly. There might be a few familiar faces that you might know if everybody is back um, from, well, whatever it is they were doing. But it is cool here. It is very cool. And I think Porsche have got this brilliant spot and a prime location. Um, here at Silverstone to exploit the power of all the cars. I mean that thing around the track was completely bonkers and the ability to go kind of test on adverse camber and loads of other stuff was just really really cool. Zero to 60 times emergency braking tests. Honestly anything you can name to kind of put this thing through its paces we did. Um, let me go back up the stairs because uh, Joe's about. Joe's floating around somewhere. Hello. Hello. I'm making a video I need to fill some space up. So. <laughs> Do you need some driving in it? Yeah, just 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 talk about what your experience has been like so far. <laughs> I just keep doing that. We'll, we'll fill this up now. Um, no, really, have, you, have you found it? I've had the, uh, the 992 4S out on the circuit, both circuits, really good, really stable, really coarse. Just um, very grown up now. The 992. Yeah. I find it's very. Um, it's more GT sports car than sports car. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. yeah, I agree. It's got the sports car ability, but it just yeah. feels it, it feels like it can do everything. And we've got a load of other guys as well. How's it going, guys? Plug your channels. How are you? Uh, no, I write vlog on Drive Track on the car trail. There you go. We've got Aaron Car Obsession, Tom Kent, Redline, Car Press Full. There you go. <laughs> right, so I think I'm going to finally get something. Oh, that's gone really dark. Flipping out. Look at that. That's a wild green. I'm not sure about that, if I'm honest with you, on the uh, on the 992. Um, yeah, the only car that I am definitely certain of a green like this and a very wild colour is that thing. I think because it's such a loud car anyway, and because it's a GT3 RS, you can get away with such wild colours on it. I mean, guys, look at this thing. This is literally to die for. What a car. What an incredible piece of kit. I mean, from every angle you look at this thing, it's absolutely gorgeous. Genuinely, you've got green roll cages in here, stripped out. Honestly, I love this car so much. And also, 
a yellow GT3 RS. Obviously running Michelin Pilot Sport tires because, well, it's a track car pretty much. But I just can't get over the size of the wings on the GT3 RS. I think they look absolutely superb. I would love to drive one of these. I, it's something I've, 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 well, it's on the bucket list to do. It's quite windy up here, but I just thought I'd give you a bit of a visual perspective. So I apologize for the wind, but just kind of show you, first of all, where this is kind of situated, because as you can see, uh, we are literally slap bang here by Silverstone. So you can see the new wing over there. You've got pretty much, you've got the hanger straight down here. You can see the 4C down there, just, just kind of, there, this is what I've come down in today. Oh, and here we are back where I started my day. Uh, by the way, that's Joe in the S6 van. That is a beast. Look at the size difference from the S6 to the 4C. But I'm back here. Here's my uh, my beautiful little car. I absolutely love this thing. What a, what a car. This is just... I love it. I absolutely love it. There's not much to it, but it still does definitely look the part. Um, like I said, I'm, a, I'm, I'm really sorry that I couldn't bring you... Um, the stuff that I wanted to. I mean, I saw this opportunity and thought this would be really great content to um, to kind of showcase what it's like to do the Porsche Experience Center and the kind of stuff that you can do and the kind of tracks that you can drive. Because uh, it's honestly been incredible. It's been a really, really good day. A massive thank you to Porsche GB. I just haven't been able to share it with you guys as much as I would have liked, but I'm gonna jump in the 4C. I'm gonna head home. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna see you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.